George Lynch and Mick Brown aren't friends anymore? Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. So yeah, today we're talking about ex dokken band members, guitar player George Lynch and drummer Mick Brown. And in case you don't remember, Mick Brown retired from drumming from the music industry a few years ago back in 2019. And now, just a few days ago, I read a story, uh, an interview with George Lynch saying that Mick Brown won't return his calls. So I will read that to you guys in just a second, but I want to give a little bit of the backstory, a little bit of the history here. So of course we know that George and Mick were both in Dokken all through the 80s and during those great albums and other times after that, but even before Dokken, George and Mick played in bands before that. A couple of bands that I know of, one was called The Boys and another one called uh, Exciter. And then they eventually went into Dokken together. And as we know, after that, Don went off and did his solo album, and then George and Mick went and formed Lynch Mob, and they did the two Lynch Mob albums. And then after that, they were both back in Dokken, did a couple of albums, and then George was out of Dokken again, but Mick stayed in Dokken. And then jump ahead to the year 2016, and there was a full-on Dokken reunion with all four of the classic members, Don Dokken, George Lynch, Jeff Pilson, and Mick Brown. It was a very short reunion. They had one show in the United States, which was like a warm-up show, and then the thing that they were really reuniting for was the show in Japan. They recorded those, they released a live album and DVD, and they even did one brand new studio track called It's Another Day. And then a few years later, 2019, they released the very first The End Machine album, which included George, Mick, and Jeff Pilson, and ex Lynch Mob singer Robert Mason. And that pretty much brings us to the end of the line for Wild McBrown because it was 2019 that he announced his retirement, that he was leaving Dokken, and that basically he couldn't tour anymore for health reasons, for medical reasons. He just couldn't get on the flights and fly around and go to the different cities. He was having some kind of issues because of the traveling. I don't know if it was because of the drumming also, but he just couldn't do it anymore. And he said, that's it, I'm done. And I've heard and read stories over the past few years that uh, he sold all his drums, he doesn't play anymore, and he's just basically kicking back and retired and enjoying the good life. And that brings us to this article on Blabbermouth that was there just a few days ago from an interview with George, and I'm going to read to you some of the stuff that he says in it. Uh, of course, I will have a link to the story in the description if you want to go check it out and read the whole thing. So, the question was like, is there ever going to be another reunion of the classic Dokken lineup? And here's what George had to say about that. No. The short version answer is no. The reason is, for one, Mick has retired. He sold his drums, got rid of his drums. He doesn't play anymore. Maybe he goes jams, maybe he goes and jams here and there. And for his own mental and physical health, he's just kind of disconnected from the whole world. And he doesn't return our calls. Notice, guys, he says our calls. So he didn't say my calls. So I'm gonna read into that a little bit, meaning like, well, who's calling Mick? Not just George. Does he mean George and Jeff? Because I think Jeff always got along with Mick. Is Don calling him? Are they all calling him to say like, Mick, let's give it, you know, one more last hurrah before we call it a day. Is that why they're calling him? I don't know, it's not stated here. Let's continue. He doesn't return our calls. That's okay. I think that's probably what he needed to do, and I respect that. It's sad in a way because we were friends for decades and built something together. We came up together. It was Mick and I before anybody else, before Jeff or Don. I would love to still be friends with him and maintain a relationship, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what to make of that. I mean, it does sound a little strange that like Mick won't return his calls at all. I mean, they, like you said, they've known each other for decades. They knew each other before Dawkins, since they were probably barely out of high school, been in multiple bands together, toured the world together, sold millions of albums together, and now George can't even get like a return call or a, or a return text. So two things I wonder there. 
What is the nature of George's calls? Like I said earlier, is he calling Mick saying, we need you back in the band, we need to do some reunion shows? Or is he just calling like, hey, Mick, it's George, just wanna see how you're doing and what's up, give me a call back, I'd love to hear from you. And then the other thing I'm wondering is, why won't Mick return his calls or messages? Even if it is about like a possible reunion, why wouldn't he just call back or text back and just be like, sorry guys, I I'm done with that, I sold my drums, I'm just, it's never gonna happen, I'm not interested. Or is he like mad at those guys about something? I mean, I really have no idea. I'm just kind of grasping at straws here. I just find it really curious that when you're friends with guys and you have that like such a bond being in those bands together and doing all the things, all the things that they accomplished together and like he's not going to pick up the phone or he's not going to return a message. It just, it's very curious. And I feel kind of bummed for George because uh, I mean, I assume that they were close, you know, having known each other for so long and been in those bands and that's gotta be a bummer that you're trying to reach out to your friend and uh, he won't answer the phone or return your calls. All right guys, so if there's anybody out there watching this that has any kind of insight or inside information and you know anything, I'd love to hear it in the comments because I really don't know anything like what's going on with Mick Brown because as far as I know, he doesn't have any kind of like social media presence. There's no Instagram, there's no Facebook or anything where he posts pictures or you see where he went on vacation or anything like that. So I really have no idea what he's up to. I hope he's doing well. I hope he's enjoying his retirement. I hope he's kicking back and just enjoying life. I really do. I've met Mick a few times and he was just like the nicest, happiest guy. Such a cool guy. Love Mick Brown. All right guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.